Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun one. It is obviously a little August reading wrap up. Plus, I'm going to throw in my September TBR in this video because you guys will see why. So yeah, I'm just going to jump into the video. I actually only read three books in the month of August and I knew this was going to happen. I know I mentioned it in, in some other vlogs, but I actually moved back to my college campus on August 5th or 6th, I can't remember, and I had two weeks of training and then I am in my second week of school right now, so it's just been a very busy time. I've been in a reading rut and just haven't really been able to get through my books. I am usually a person that only reads one book at a time, but at one point I was reading four books at a time because I was trying to find something that would grasp my interest. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I finished three books, maybe four. I will get on my Goodreads real fast. I'm just going to include my September TBR in this video. Usually I've been doing them separate. Um, this is just going back to my old videos where I did them combined because usually my TB TBR was small. Um, obviously I did not complete my August TBR, so most of the books that were on my August TBR are going to be moved to my September TBR. The first book I read this month was Slammed. Um, this is a Colleen Hoover novel. Um, it's the first book in a three book series. I am trying to get through Colleen Hoover's backlist and I'm almost done. I thought I was going to be able to read the three books in this series because usually Colleen Hoover, I read her books, I fly through it and that was the case for this book. I thought it was really good. I was not expecting the trope that happens. I'm not going to spoil it just because it's not on the back of the book. But yeah, I ended up reading this five stars. I've rated all of Colleen Hoover's books five stars so I don't really know what that says about me but um yeah this one was super good currently reading the second book which we'll talk about in the tbr but yeah this was the first one rated at five stars this one i read was actually my first time being a part of the redheads book club if you guys know the austria sisters i i listened to the morning toast a little bit over the summer but i've kind of stopped listening to podcasts recently so i haven't been updated with it he has another podcast that's called the redheads or the it's like spelled r-e-a-d redheads but jackie's red headed so it's kind of play on words but anyways they have a podcast um once a month about a book so i finally read the first book it is a month late because i'm pretty sure this was the july pick but it doesn't matter anyways i read a flicker in the dark and i actually rated this one four stars it was so good i did expect the plot twist i mean some parts of the plot twist i wasn't expecting but like the overall like who done it i did know who it was and i I don't know you guys just have to read it i thought it was so good i would actually listen to this on my morning walks which was a little creepy because i was reading a thriller but i knew i would be reading a book and it was super good anyways definitely recommend that i haven't listened to the podcast episode yet so i'm super excited to listen to that but yeah that was the second book of the month and the last book i read this month was actually a school book and that is the coquette this is actually the second book that was ever published in the united states like as a nation um so this one was super old literature but it was actually very accessible to read and i would recommend it if you're wanting to read like an older type of literature literally a second book published in the united states um but still understand what's going on essentially it's about a woman who um her fiance dies so she has two suitors and one is like a sensible man but she's not in love with him and the other is she's in love with him and he's not sensible at all and it doesn't end up good for her it's actually based on a real person it's written in letters i thought it was super interesting we actually discussed the ending in my class tomorrow when i'm like recording this so super excited to um talk about this one i would definitely recommend it i rated it three stars just because it wasn't my favorite like classic piece of literature um but i thought it was still good i would recommend it as I'm doing now, but yeah, this was the third and final book I read in August. Now that we've done my August wrap up, I'm going to go ahead and jump into my September TBR and I'm going to start off by the books that I'm reading. First one is Purple Hearts or Purple Heart. I don't know. This was a Netflix movie. I actually watched the movie twice. I know it's like, uh, but I actually really enjoyed it and I started reading the book. I started reading it during RA training and I'm almost done with it. I just haven't picked it back up. So I want to go ahead and finish that one. And then another one I'm reading is Point of Retreat. This is the second book in the Slam series. I think the only reason I haven't gone through this is because I actually like haven't sat down and just read it. Um, so I think this will be super easy to read. And then the third one that I'm currently reading is actually The Crown of Gilded Bones. I was flying through the Blood and Ash series, just the first two books, rated right five stars. I think I read it in less than 24 hours maybe a little bit more but this one i think i've been reading it oh my gosh let's see how long i've been reading it 
started reading this on August 1st and it's August 31st when I'm filming this. So I've been struggling with this. I'm like almost done with it too. I think this is all I have left and then I have the fourth book that I own. So guys, please encourage me. I know this is a book that people said like they started tapering off of the series and I'm like, that might be happening, but I was enjoying the story. So I don't understand what's going on, but Anyways, those are the first three books on my TBR, but we are going to go ahead and add some more. Obviously, I want to read This Girl. This is the third book in the Slam series, so I just want to go ahead and finish the series this month. I um, think that would be beneficial. Since I read um, A Flicker in the Dark, I've been really wanting to read my thriller. So I have two thrillers. I have The Wife Between Us. This says, when you read this book, you'll make many assumptions. You will assume you're reading about a jealous ex-wife. You will assume she is obsessed with her replacement, a beautiful younger woman who is about to marry the man they both love. You will assume you know the anatomy of this tangled love triangle. Assume nothing. Twisted and deliciously chilling, the wife between us deftly explores the hidden complexities of marriage and the dangerous truths we ignore in the name of love. Read between the lies. So this sounds super good. Libby, I'm pretty sure, my friend Libby, she said she liked this book, so I'm super excited about this one. also have Lisa Jewell, which I actually, I actually have this signed by her. I, this is the fourth book I own by her, but I haven't read it yet. I'm excited. The main character is actually named Libby, which is funny because I just brought her up. But this says, soon after her birthday, Libby Jones returns home from work to find the letter she has been waiting for for 25 years. She rips it open with one driving thought. I am finally going to know who I am. She learns not only the identity of her birth parents, but also that she is the sole inheritor of their abandoned mansion on the bank of the Thames. Everything in Libby's life is about to change, but what she can't possibly know is that others have been waiting for this day as well, and she's on a collision course to meet them. So that sounds good. I only have two more books just because they kind of want to keep it manageable. The first book right here I have is Light Lark. I know this has received a lot of negative things since it's come out. I actually had it pre-ordered, so I got it. Haven't read it. I think I'm going to do a reading vlog for this very soon after I do like a book shopping vlog. I actually posted that on my community page and everyone voted for me to do like a book shopping vlog. So that'll be coming, I promise. Um, but I'm also going to be doing a reading vlog just to give my true thoughts about this fantasy novel. Um, here is what it says. It says, Welcome to the Centennial. Every hundred years, the island of Lark Light Lark appears for only 100 days to host a deadly game, where the rulers of six realms fight to break their curses and win unparalleled power. Each ruler has something to hide. Each curse is uniquely wicked. To break them and save themselves and their realms, one ruler will die. So, any anyway... I think it's super cool. I ordered like the covers that show the um, characters, like the overlays, but I haven't received them. So anyways, then the last book on my TBR, which we'll see if we get to, is The War of Two Queens. This is a fourth book in the Blood and Ash series. I'm really hoping I can just finish it and then wait for the last two books to come out in the series and just read them. Um, I'm just sad because I loved Poppy and Castile in the first two books, so I, I want to get back into it. That's my plan. I'm feeling like we have a lot of dark books right now, so maybe that fits the month of September, but yeah, this is all of the books I want to read. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry, I only posted like three times in the month of August. I'm going to try to be posting more, obviously, for you guys. Um, I think I'm kind of getting back into a routine at being at school. So there will either be one to two videos per week, hopefully. And yeah, that's the end of this video. Let me know what you guys read in August and what you plan on reading in September. Love you guys so much. Peace and love. Bye, guys.